It has been a riveting two days of test cricket between Australia and Pakistan. Welcome back to the channel. Really awesome to have you back here. Let's just jump into it because it's two days. Day three is actually taking place right now. So let's get into it. Yo, Australia batted first. 318 all out on a pretty pacey, bouncy wicket. And you know what? The total for me is a little below par, but you know, Pakistan seems, seems to have stepped up their bowling. They are still dropping catches. In fact, Warner got dropped in the third over. Let's not get into it right now. But poor fielding, few chances went to beg in, but definitely Warner's a big wicket man. You gotta take the catch. But Australia, 318 all out. Leading the charge for Australia, Marna Slabashane with 63. Gotta say, he played a good hand today before he was ultimately undone, but he played well. Nobody else passed 50, but you had a, a good set of contributions from everybody else, but Extras was the next best top scorer with 52. That's right, 52 Extras, man, whew. Amir Jamal was the main wicket taker for Pakistan with three wickets to lead the charge. And I gotta say, besides the drop catches on Pakistan's end, I liked that they backed themselves and that they didn't just let them let themselves just slump when the catches went down they came back out they bowled well they their feeling got better they held their chances that's what matters Pakistan are currently 194 for 6 at the end of day 2 they started really well well as I say started really well they lost Imam al Haq really early but Abdullah Shafiq well played, I think he made 62, half century, and then Shan Masood, the, the skipper, also chipped in with another 50 to lead the fight against the Australians. Currently, Pakistan are 124 runs behind with four wickets remaining, trying to get as close as possible, if not to overtake the Australian total. Leading the bowling so far for Australia, you have Pat Cummins with three and Nathan Lyon with two wickets right now apiece, leading the charge for the Australians. And I will say, Cummins has been on song. Like, he, he, he's found his groove this test match. The, piece, the ball is doing some talking. But I got to say, Rizwan and uh, Amir, I think it's Amir Jamal's at the crease right now. They're going to have a little bit of work ahead of them. But if they can just stick it out a little, get some runs on the board, I think Pakistan can get close to this total, if not overtake this total. But... Fast outfield, you're playing on a wicket, it's a little bounce, you've had rain interrupting this test match. So kind of everything, you know, so the pitch is not, the pitch still has some moisture in it. But I think the key is going to be bowling and fielding for both teams. If both teams bowl well and field well, the game could be theirs. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but all I can say is the first two days have been rather interesting. Even the fact that Australia only made 318 and only one man passed 50, Pakistan actually has the advantage, and I know what you're saying, yeah, they have four wickets left, four wickets is a lot of wickets, man, that's all I'm saying, they can add 100 runs to that, they can have 200 runs, it just depends on the batsman, but obviously, with the bowling, Australia's bowling, being in top form right now, Pakistan has, has a top fight against them. So, we're going to be looking forward to days 3 and 4. That's right, we're going to do 3 and 4 and then 5 if this test match makes it to day 5. I feel it's like better to bring up the finale and do the review if there's a 5th day test match. But, join us again as we bring you more of the fans' perspective here on We Talk Cricket. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the support. Love you, my people. We appreciate everything you've done. Thank you for always coming back. Until next time, later.